Ito yung equation para malaman natin yung degree of indeterminacy para sa frames. I is equal to 3M plus R minus 3J plus E. So yung M, yung members, R, total support reaction, yung J, total number of joints, and yung E, yung equation of condition or yung mga internal hinges. Hanapin natin yung reactions nito. So yung degree of indeterminacy is equal to 0. Table siya and determine it. Meron tayong roller sa point A and pin sa point B. Assume ko na yung BX ay direction niya papunta sa kaliwa. And itong load, pwede natin itong hatiin isang rectangle at isang triangle. And itong uniform load na rectangle, gawin nating single point load. So, 20 times yung distance nito so, kung 6 to 8, so I 10. So, 20 times 10, 200. And itong triangle, so 1 half base time height. So, gawin natin single point load, magiging 100 kN. And summation of forces along x-axis equal to 0. So, equate natin lahat ng forces sa sakanan equal sa lahat ng kaliwa. Itong 200 kilo newton, so kung ito yung 200 kilo newton, yung rise and run niya, ito na yung magiging 8, ito yung 6, ito yung 10. So ang x component niya, 8 over 10. Plus yung load sa triangle, so 100. So ganito rin yung rise and run niya. So 8 over 10 equal to x. So, ang bx equal to 240 ton. Direction niya, ito sa kaliwa. And summation of moment sa point A is equal to 0. Wait natin lahat ng clockwise sa counterclockwise. Lain natin tong 200. So, 200. And yung centroid ng rectangle sa point A ay 5. Plus, Yung 100 times yung distance ng centroid nito sa point A, 2 third ng 10 meters. Plus 150, distance niya 12. Equal to BY, distance 18. Plus yung BX, so plus 240 times yung distance nito, 8. So BY, equal to 85.93 kN. Direction niya pataas. And summation of forces along y is equal to 0. Wait natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. So ay plus yung by na 85.93 equal to 200. Yung y component niya 6 over 10 plus 100, 6 over 10, plus 150. So, AY is equal to 244.07 kN. Hanapin natin yung reactions na ito. And itong degree of indeterminacy is equal to 0. So, stable siya externally and determinate. Meron tayong A, Y, B, X, B, Y, B, X. Moment muna tayo sa uh, point B. Wait natin lahat ng clockwise sa uh, counterclockwise. So, A, Y times 24 plus 20 times 12 equal to Tunahin natin tong load na to. So, 1.5. Yung length, 12 squared of 2. And yung distance niya sa point B, 12 plus 6. Plus, itong 1.5 na nasa left, ah, right side. So, 1.5 times yung distance na to, or yung length, 12 squared of 2. Yung distance ng centroid niya sa point B, 6 meters. 
So AY is equal to 15.46 kips. And yung direction niya, pataas. And dahil meron tayong internal hinge, tawagin natin tong point na to na point C. So ang moment sa internal hinge ay 0. And pwede tayong mag-cut dyan. So sa mention of moment sa point C. So kunin natin yung free body diagram na itong uh, AC. So is equal to 0. Wait natin lahat ng clockwise sa lahat ng counterclockwise. So, 15.46 times 12 is equal to AX times 24 plus 20 times 12 plus 1.5 times 12 square root of 2 times 6. So, ang AX is equal to negative 8.6. Hips. or 8.63 hips ang direction niya papunta sa left side in summation of forces along x axis is equal to 0 wait natin lahat ng papunta sa right side equal sa lahat ng papunta sa left side so 20 plus x is equal to 8.63 so, BY is equal to negative 11.37 kips or 11.37 kips. Papunta siya sa aliwa. And summation of forces along Y-axis is equal to 0. So, 15.46 plus BY is equal to yung sa load. 1.5 and yung distance nito 12 root of 2 so dahil dalawa sila times 2 so ang by is equal to 35.45 hips